Hello, this is Adam here with The Game Machine bringing you another retro review. And we have a game here today that's asking the most hard-hitting question we've ever had a video game ask us. That question is this. What does it feel like to be a winner descended from heaven? Well, today we're going to answer that question with a Sega Saturn review of Daytona USA Championship Circuit Edition for the Sega Saturn. Yes, I had to read the back of it because I couldn't remember it. So, I guess to answer the question, are you a winner descended from heaven? Or is this game any good? Find out in this episode of The Game Machine. It starts now. Feels great, thanks for asking. But let's not talk about me, let's get into the story of this game. Now one would assume that this is a racing game, so Daytona USA wouldn't have a story. And true, it doesn't show you a story in the game, but I have a top secret hot scoop on what the real story is, from my sources who shall remain undisclosed. So, there was a man named Chu Backer whose dream was to become the best racer Daytona USA has ever seen. He knew it was his destiny to drive really fast in a car and beat others, so he could live out his childhood dream. That dream was to have a fat stack of cash and women who would only want to be with him because he's rich and famous. Then finally, one day, he got a shot at that dream. He met a man named Bobby Fett, who came up to him and said, Hey boy, you look like you got the soul of the driver in you. Do you have the need for speed? He asked. Then our hero replied, Yes sir, I want to go fast and make fat stacks of cash with women who don't really love me. Yee-hoo, that's the spirit, my boy, exclaimed Bobby. The boy learned how to drive cars really fast and won many races. However, Chu had one accident that would change his life forever. No! He lost the biggest race of his life and got into an accident. He did live, but he lost the fat stacks of cash. And much to his surprise, all the women that hung out with him, who were just after his money, left. But he did find hope, as he became a manager of a Napa Auto Parts store, he married some girl he met on a dating site called YouRevMyEngine.com, and had three kids. When I found out this was the true story of the game we never got to hear, I shed manly tears of manliness. Probably one of the greatest video game stories of our time. And it's a shame that they didn't put it in this game. Oh well. I guess we can actually talk about the video game part now. Yes, we all know that the graphics of Daytona USA are great for its time, and I will say that the draw distance on this game isn't too bad, which is key for a game where you're going really, really fast. Though there are some issues where you will notice chunks missing, like if you flip your car and its camera's going into a mountain, but at the time it was actually pretty common as camera tech was still fairly new in games. But for the most part, that stuff doesn't get in the way of driving. However, there was one part in one area I noticed, the seaside gallery area, where there's a turn, and it's hard to judge because it's a sharp left, and there's a big wall, and you can't really see the curb. So if you're not paying attention to the signs, you may end up crashing harder than a Michael Bay movie. Tracks are designed, for the most part, pretty well. You got five different tracks. And I'm guessing they're all in Florida because there's no snowy mountains, desert canyons, or underwater sea bases you'll be driving through. Though there is a track called Dinosaur Canyon, however, I'm extremely disappointed that there are no Triceratops or even a Microraptor in sight. Yes, Microraptor is a thing I looked up on Wikipedia. It told me so, so it's gotta be true. 
But there is stuff that's going on in the background. Like you see boats near docks, or you'll see horses running wild, and why no one has put them behind a fence and just let them run near a road is completely dangerous and irresponsible. And whoever's bright idea that was is beyond me. You also got a variety of cars with different decals and designs. Mine says balance on the back for some reason. The music in this game is pretty good, and it varies from the original Daytona USA music. Gone are the great English voice stylings of Brew Brew Skies. Now you got this 80s style rock type music and other remixes from the original without the lyrics. Right, some of the tracks are done by vocalist Aaron Martin from, um, he was in, um, okay, I have no idea where he's from, but they still do have some cheesy lyrics, but it fits right in the game. The car sound, announcers, everything just sounds so great in Daytona USA, and the presentation overall is awesome, and it gives a great arcade vibe experience in the comfort of your own home. So, not a bad looking ride so far, but how does she handle? Daytona USA drives like a dream, as if you're good at arcade racers. Me, I'm pretty terrible at them. I crash a lot, but I still have myself finding lots of fun and keep coming back to it. You have several cars to choose from, all differing in their categories of grip, acceleration, and max speed. Playing around and finding what works best for you will help you greatly. As for me, I went with balance because I can't drive in this game very well without having to have a hot makeout session with a wall. As mentioned before, there are five tracks to choose from, each having their own sets of difficulties and challenges you need to overcome. And the more you race, the better you become, unless you're like me and you really find that stone wall irresistibly attractive. Obviously, to win at Daytona USA, you need to win races and complete the game by going through a series of laps. But there's also a timer you must be aware of. You have checkpoints, and if you don't reach a checkpoint within a certain period of time in whatever position you're in, that's where you rank. So hitting checkpoints means you get increased time on your clock. But depending on how much time you have, that's going to make it either easier or harder. Also, don't use pit stops. Sure, they'll make your car look all nice and fancy, but they'll put you in dead last. But it is a cool thing to see the mechanics working on the car, swapping tires out and all that fun stuff. There are a couple of other modes such as time trial and a two-player mode where you can pick a friend who's worse than you and race against him. That way, if you're like me and you suck at the game, you can gain back self-confidence points. These self-confidence points make you feel better about yourself and are not in the game at all. Daytona USA was a game I played a lot back in the day at the local bowling alley many years ago. I even tried to use it as a teaching simulator to teach myself how to drive. Okay, yeah, I know it was kind of lame, but I was 16 years old. What was I going to do? Get into a real car and drive? <laughs> Come on now. This is a fun game. It's a great game. If you love the original and want more, it, it's a fantastic game. It isn't super expensive, but I have seen copies going for around 20 bucks, maybe a little less if you get the original Daytona USA. If you have nostalgia for this game, or just want to collect some arcade racers like Daytona USA, then Daytona USA Championship Circuit Edition won't steer you wrong. Until next time, enjoy this car crashing montage. Boom! No!